chemical reactions. They are the processes in which new substance with new properties are formed. Now there are so many chemical reactions happening around you. So it is better to classify them into groups. So we classify them into different types of reactions. The reactions that we will be studying are combination reactions, decomposition reactions, displacement reactions, double displacement reactions and oxidation and reduction reactions. All these reactions can either be exothermic or endothermic. Let us begin with combination reaction. Now the name itself tells us that it is about combining. So in a chemical reaction when two or more reactants combine and form a single product, it is called a combination reaction. It can be represented as A plus B gives AB. Let's take some example. Carbon reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide. This is a combination reaction where two reactants combine and form a single product. Even formation of water is an example of combination reaction. H2 plus O2 gives H2O. Let us see one more example. For that, let us do one activity. We take a beaker of water and we add calcium oxide to it. So how do we write the reaction in the form of an equation? It can be written as calcium oxide, the formula of calcium oxide becomes CaO plus water that is H2O. Now when you mix it, it forms a new substance. The new substance is calcium hydroxide. And what will be the formula of calcium hydroxide? It's going to be CaOH twice. Let's start writing the states. Calcium oxide is a white powder, so it is solid. It is mixed in water. Water is liquid. And it forms calcium hydroxide, which is dissolved in water, so it is aqueous. Okay, now in this reaction too, there are two reactants which combine and form a single product. Now my experiment is done so I'm going to throw my apparatus so as soon as I touch it it is warm remember this observation for the coming lessons let's come back to our equation that is calcium oxide plus water gives calcium hydroxide calcium oxide is also known as quicklime and calcium hydroxide which is formed is also known as slaked lime now this reaction is used in whitewashing of our houses that is done before painting. How? Let's see. In huge drums of water, calcium oxide is dissolved, due to which a new substance is formed, which is calcium hydroxide. Now, this calcium hydroxide solution is applied on the walls. After about two days, the calcium hydroxide starts reacting with carbon dioxide in the atmosphere, and it forms calcium carbonate and water. Now this calcium carbonate has a shiny appearance due to which the wall starts appearing smoother. 